Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Hi, hi. Hi, Maria. Melanie. <clears throat> Debbie, everybody. Hello. Good morning. So we're going back to back. Um, uh, take off from Babette's this morning. If you guys didn't watch her scope this morning, do go back to it after we're done here. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, Sean, <clears throat> you're supposed to be in bed, right? Okay, so anyway, do go back to Babette's if you didn't see it. And actually, we kind of started it yesterday. Maria also did one yesterday, and then I did one, and then so then we continued this morning. So it's just kind of fun. Hope you guys are enjoying this and you're having a good Saturday so far. Just a couple of things real quick. I have my tea. Is everybody drinking tea or coffee? And are ready to go. Hi, Rita. Okay, if I do not um, answer or, or comment back, I'm sorry. I I have a hard time doing that sometimes because I'm trying to concentrate. And so um, I'm not ignoring you. I'm very glad that everybody's here. Yay, I have my journal out too. Cool, very cool. Okay, so I'm just going to really quick tell you guys, um, if you guys have any inks, this right here is India ink. Take that out. Um, you can use this stress stain, but definitely we can, yay, coffee in hand. And we can definitely, um, we're definitely going to use watercolors, okay? And so you guys take out what you have, if you can, and some brushes. Uh, some bigger brushes would be nice for this project. You can do this on an insert or you can do it on watercolor paper, but the India ink seems to work better if, for this technique that I'm going to show. It's better with uh, the watercolor paper, so we're gonna, we're gonna do it on that. Or I'm gonna do it on that. You guys do it on whatever you want to do. Really quick, uh, Babette was showing today and Maria yesterday and how when you put color down and you close this up and you just squish it and then open it and you get a, uh, a nice background on both sides just to let you know I tried that this morning with the bet but I tried it with my India ink and then I closed it and when I went to go open it it ripped my pages so just a heads up in case you don't you're not aware the India ink will do that it'll rip the page watercolor will not but the India ink does so if you do something like this with the ink you want to make sure that you um, open it fairly quickly otherwise when you try to peel it off it it ruins your paper. So that's just a little hint. Um, really quick too, I wanted to show you yesterday after I got off the Periscope, I went ahead and started doing some patterning just for fun. This was from a couple of days ago, but, and so I just um, wanted to show you guys real quick. I just played with this um, last night. And then here's some more using those pens that I have along with my gouache and so just maybe you'll find inspiration in this as far as just going and playing you know that's what it's all about I've said it many times it's just let's play and let's just um, not think too much about it and just have fun and so just wanted to share that with you guys that was yesterday's so today I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this new paper that I got love those colors thank you um, So, is everybody ready? Do you guys have some paints in front of you? Okay, so basically, oh, and also, I'm sorry, uh, some inks, uh, pens. Got my stains and watercolor paper. Great. I'm, you need some pens, too. I'm going to be using, I don't know if I'm going to use the different colors, uh, but I'll definitely be using an 05, a little bit thicker, and it's just a pen. This is a Prisma color. My favorite is the Statler. Walking to the gym, but we'll try a replay for sure. Can I just come over? Yes, definitely, Rita. You have to come out to Cal uh, California at least um, in the States. Seriously, if you're in the States, you let me know. I'll fly over and meet with you. New York, Boston, wherever. So... And November, you know, we're having a meetup on the 19th and Babette's going to be there and Evelyn and um, Anahi for sure. So definitely, 
I may be in Florida in June. Okay, make sure you let me know. Seriously, I have a friend in Florida um, as well, so I can visit her too while I do that. I'm in Idaho. You can still come out in California. So, okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and start this. So I'm gonna use uh, Distressed Stain, just so that you can see that you can do this with different things. And I'm just, we're just gonna make circles, basically. So I'm just gonna plop some color down. Oh, that was kind of a lot. I'm in the Netherlands. I'd come out to the Netherlands. I love to travel. And then here, I'm just kind of mixing. I, yeah, it, it kind of stains it, but it's just kind of how I do things. I don't mind it. It's just fun. Okay, so that's one ink blot. So while, we, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take some water and wet another portion. And I'm going to wet basically a shape of a circle. And then from there, I'm gonna take my India ink. And this is by Dr. Phil Martin, and it's an iridescent. It says calligraphy colors, iridescent blue. And I'm just gonna put a little dab. I know you guys have probably done this in um, elementary or whatever, you know, and, or in school sometime, but it's just really fun to do. So I'm just making some, putting some colors. I only actually own three of these, three colors that's it for the India ink. Let's get this up a little bit. And then you can also do this um, without wetting the page. You can do it dry, I think. It may not spread as well, but no, it's not spreading. But you can always play. Again, it's just about playing, you guys. I just enjoy playing with these things for fun. Okay, see, it's not making any kind of effect without... without water. So I'm just, I just dabbed a little bit. Thank you for uh, inviting followers. I'm gonna dry it a little bit, just a little. The little bottles, hi Nikki, are um, India ink. Thank you, thank you for inviting followers. Okay, so I dry, I wanted to dry that a little bit because I'm gonna wet, put water around it. Now I'm gonna go ahead, if you don't have these things on hand, you can use watercolor. And basically you wet the page again in a circular form. And I'm just going to load my brush with a lot of paint. And maybe dip some in the water some more and do that. Can't really see it much. Okay, let me you let me do a different color so you can see it better. I'm going to load it with this color here. So you don't have to go out and buy India ink. It's just fun. Like Babette said earlier, you know when you have a coupon, use that. But if not, you can use just regular paint watercolor. You can even use acrylic too. Okay, this is more like a process because I, I don't really have anything particularly planned. Um, like I mentioned yesterday when I'm working, a lot of times I'll have my journal out so that are my planner pages so that I can put color to um, onto my pages 
uh, the extra watercolor that's on my brush. So it kind of gets my pages started. And it just entices me once again to, to write in my journals and such when there's color around it. So whenever I can, I try to, instead of wasting the beautiful colors on the paper towel, I put it on my pages while I'm working. So there's some colors and let me go ahead, let me do another one here. I'm going to try combining different things. This is also just kind of going to show you how I, how I think through things while I'm designing something or I'm designing a page or playing. I just basically, a lot of times I'm just layering, I'm just playing and just doing different things. See how that other color got on here earlier? So now it's coming off uh, with the two different colors. I like that. And so just using that and splattering it. Again, I had put water on it first. So there you go. So a lot of those should be dry by now. And if it's not, you can use a paper towel. Hi, I'm awake. Yay. Pretty. Thank you. So you can use a ta paper towel to dry that if you'd like, but I have my dryer here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to dry it if you use a paper towel hopefully you can hear me if you use a paper towel you know it's going to take a lot of the colors up it's going to pick it up so it's really good to have a dryer handy so that it doesn't remove most of the color Yeah, what time is it in Germany? Or Sweden? Miriam is from Sweden. That's 1810, so that's 610. Uh, this is just one of those dryers. It's an, you get it from Michaels, but you can use a hair dryer. The thing about these dryers is it has a small, um, the, the air is more condensed when you use it then a hair dryer will be, you know, usually bigger. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. That's kind of noisy. All right, well, I don't think that's quite dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dab and see what happens. Okay. Okay, it's fairly dry. Okay, so we went over the different ways to make these circular patterns for those who might have just joined and we did them in different ways. We used um, ink, we used the stress stains, and we used watercolor as well. Um, if you need to see the process, replay it later, but I'm going to go ahead and go forward with this. Whoops. I guess that's stained. Okay, no problem. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen. Um, I'm going to take my Prismacolor and it's an 05. The reason why I want an 05 is because it's, it's um, thicker, a broader stroke so that you can see it. And I'm just going to play. I don't have anything, any pattern in my head or anything. Um, perhaps things that I've done in the past may pop up, but we're just going to play and do some different things with these and make flowers, basically.
I don't know if you guys have seen some of my, um, I've been zentangling also as well lately. So this is kind of like that zentangling. But you just build. And the thing with this that I have found, and I've talked about this, is while I'm relaxing, you know, all day, well, not all day, but during the day, I'm basically working on sojourners. And it gets tiring. And sometimes I just need a break from things. And so at night, a lot of times I will just sit and watch Netflix. But I can't just sit and watch Netflix. I have to be painting or doing something. And sometimes this is what I do. And it's just fun. It's really relaxing if you don't stress about it. I know sometimes people get stressed about art and you really need to try not to do that. It's just not worth it. Art is to be enjoyed and to have fun with. And so, and I build. And I have shown it on Instagram where I've taken an insert and I will start this. And as I'm waiting at the car wash, um, wherever I'm at, I'm waiting for one of my daughters if we're on a, a shopping thing or whatever and I just doodle and I just add to my insert as I go along um, let me see if I could show you an, a sample I'm working on the covers for these new inserts that I just um, put in oh wow yes and dangling is fun so here I build up on it so if I go somewhere and I'm have some time I will just build on it and it's just fun and then later I go and color it also I had mentioned on one of my other scopes that you know seeing people do this kind of gets you going and helps so even though this seems really simple and something that a lot of us have done other people may not have done this and so you know demoing it is helpful I'm sorry if I'm not seeing any comments if you guys have any questions shoot them up I'll look real quick there you go and so then you can add to this you can add other colors or just use it the way it is with with the ink and the colors which I really like that again I'm not thinking of this ahead of time necessarily I'm just playing Oh, sorry. Were there questions? <laughs> I said I was going to look and I didn't. Looks nice. Thank you. And it's fun. Can you move camera a little closer? Sure. Especially when I catch them live. Yeah, it is kind of fun when you catch it live, isn't it? Because then um, a lot of times you get to do it with them and you can ask questions. I think it's more fun when it when you can get it live. But if not, thank goodness for Periscope archiving these. <laughs> you can always blow up my IG. I don't have any problem with questions. The problem is sometimes answering them. I forget. I really try to make a point when someone makes a comment to comment back. Oh, thank you, Rita. 
this purple is kind of looks very dark and black on here. My IG is Retrochurse. It's R-E-T-R-O-W-T-U-R-E-S. My website is SojournerUSA.net. So I put some color in there just to show you guys. Here go, let's do some here. Mm, I'm gonna do a small, small area because it could take a while for the bigger areas. There you go. You can even add more here. Just to get some of that orange back in since I already put it in here. And then I'll probably go back and do some other colors on here to make it colorful. But for now, I probably should move on. Let's see, what should we do for this one? No, here we go. First time I've seen one of your scopes. I'm enjoying it. Oh, thank you. A half moon in the sky. Yes, it's kind of fun to see different things in here, isn't it? I've I've demoed different flowers um, this summer, so they're on Periscope, and I've also put them on my YouTube. Any more these days, I'm just not videoing for YouTube because I like Periscope, and so I just um, upload it to YouTube. So you guys get the point, right? You just kind of do different things. Play, Zentangle. Look that up. You'll see probably a bunch of different um, patterns and designs. It's completely another feeling to put color first and then make the drawing. I will give it a go. Oh, you usually do it the other way around. Yeah, I, I usually do it this way because typically I mess up my colors and so honestly the ink saves the day for me in many ways. Rowena, can we order the sketchbook sojourner yet? No, I'm sorry you cannot. I am going to try to do it next week. I really need to update my website. It's looking really, to me, very <laughs> unprofessional right now because I'm busy producing and trying to get paperwork in order and things like that for the end of the year coming up. And so I guess it's more inspirational this way. Oh, thanks. So I'm trying to get to the website. Uh, so I will do that really, really soon. And as, as soon as I get everything else um, put in the website that I wanted to, I need to shoot, I, I shoot here and there. Um, you know, the sojourner so that I can put it up on the website. So as soon as I get that done, and I'm going to start putting um, the sketchbook, um, artist sketchbook in there. My battery's dying, so we'll say goodbye. Thank you for the fun. Thank you, Rita. Thank you for staying with us. And we'll see you in your next scope. Okay, so... So all that to say, yes, it will be on as soon as I can get to it, Nikki. Sorry. And we could just make this one really big. So are you guys doing this? Are you having fun? <laughs> I'm going to um, so post it, you guys, as usual when you make this and you feel comfortable posting it please do so and tag me i believe my tag is 
Art Retrochers. Or is it Retrochers Art? I really need to go look. It is easy. It's not really that hard. You just have to play and you just have to do it. Just do. Just play. But see how it's neat. Art Retrochers. Oh, great. That's the hashtag. Thank you. Um, basically, that hashtag is for those things that I show and that people try out just so we can all see where it's at, where, what everybody's doing or what everybody has done. So what's nice about putting the color down first is that you could just you know, work around it. And if you see something you want to highlight, then you can do that with the ink, the pen. And so for me, I mentioned yesterday's scope that I did, I did one with the cellophane technique and I saw a bunch of different things in it. And later I wanted to go use an ink on it, but I was going to do it on um, Periscope. So I will try to do that sometime soon. And then this one, oh, I don't know, can hardly draw a straight line. Not good at it at all. The, these are so pretty. It, you don't have to be able to draw in a straight line. So again, just build up on it. Someone comment on IG that they use tin foil, not saran wrap. Oh, interesting. And then if you want, you can go with and put what kind of pen is that? This is a uh, Prismacolor. You can get them in a set. If you go to Michaels, I think they have them in a set of maybe five or 10 or something like that and it has different uh, nib sizes and if you have the 50-40% off it's a good deal. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of watercolor on this here. Oops, that did not work. Okay, my brush was too wet. Let me get a fresh brush. Actually, you know, it's, I like these, um, these uh, gouache. I like using the gouache because that's what's the difference between, they're both water reactive with, you know, watercolor and gouache. And gouache is very similar to watercolor, but the nice thing about gouache is that it's more opaque. Whoops. meaning that it's not watery looking. So it tends to go on there darker. Of course, it just depends on how much water you put on the gouache, but uh, it reactivates. And yesterday I forgot to mention when I mentioned gouache that I was told watercolor gets opaque when you put some white in or some gummy arabium. Yes, it does. I've never tried the gummy Arabian, but this, the gouache to me is a lot like, more like the acrylic. But the problem with acrylic is that once it dries up in your pan, you're done. You just wasted and it just becomes a glob. With gouache, it comes on like acrylic, but it can be reactivated. Oh, and what I was trying to say is that 
you can, uh, what I didn't mention the other day, yesterday, was that with gouache, you can actually put them in, in the, the little pans. I don't think I mentioned it. I was told that it was, it was okay to do that. And I, I read or I saw somewhere where they talked about gouache and that it changes consistency once you put it on a pan. You are taking me gouache shopping. Yes. I, I would love some more gouache, so I will wait until that time. Oh, and I got those new colors. That's really pretty. Ooh, let's put some of that on here. Mm, where did it go? Anyway, put them on, you can put them in pans. I thought that it changes consistency. Someone had said that. I'm trying to look for my gouache. Here it is. And uh, at the store that I was at the other day that I scoped at, I talked to them about it and they said it really doesn't um, matter. It shouldn't change consistency. I want some gouache out of a cheap set, but cheap by nature as well as price. See, so I can save this, you know, forever. Oh, yeah. I've never um, done that. I don't. I don't typically do use those, you know, fountain pens and such. I don't know. I always am afraid it's just going to get clogged. So let's go ahead and use some of this squash. And hmm, let's see. How about I just? I don't want to cover up all the color that's on here. How about if we just? I know. I'll put it here. It needs to get a little bit more wet. See how bright that is? And of course, this is a neon one. I'm just going to put it in the areas that's white where the paper is showing through. And also, if you notice, I don't try to match my colors. I'm not a matchy, matchy type. Yes, this is called Opera. I didn't even realize that when I picked it up. I know that's your favorite color is Opera um, in the Daniel Smith. But what I was saying is, as you notice, I, I don't really match things up necessarily because when I was in design school, Basically, I grew up in fairly strict um, household. And although that has served me well in many ways, in art, yes, I heard that it's not light fast, the opera, so it'll fade in time. In art, I just don't wanna do that. And, and as I was going to art school, I, I, think I mentioned before to you guys, <laughs> that I couldn't see shadows because I was so, I don't know, it was graphic design and so I was just so, how do you say, unmoving. And so I couldn't see shadows. And so after I had my kids, that's when I started to see shadows. And so my whole point is I don't necessarily go by rules. I just do what I wanna do and I have fun at it. And so, like I said, the colors don't necessarily match or go together, and that's okay. Someday, you'll never know, maybe they'll find my work in a museum next to a Picasso. Right. Okay, so. So you guys get the point. Just use whatever you have, you know, and play with it. Try different things. Um, you know, there's a lot of videos and such on YouTube that you can look up. But for the most part, unless you try it yourself, you know, it's it's more fun to try different things and come up with different things. And then later, like me, you find out, 
Oh, I thought that was something I invented. This looks so fun. It gets prettier every minute. Thanks. But see, that's the thing. That's the key is just adding, layering, putting more to it, you know, and then changing things. Like I said, using different mediums. It's just, I'm just playing. This is not something I've had planned. I have a uh, book right now. I'm trying to this. Well, I have several books, sketchbooks. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with my patterns because I want to have a collection of the patterns that I'm doing. And I started it out in my insert and it works really well. The ones that I sell and I will still probably keep that going because that's easy to take around with me all the time to have with me whenever I'm out and about. And you know, I love to do stuff at the coffee shop. I just enjoy that time away to just, I paint at the coffee shop, I journal, I do all kinds of different things. In fact, sometimes, well, a lot of times I will, if I have paperwork, I will work there because it, it gives me, um, I'm able to concentrate because when I'm at home or in my uh, work studio, I'm doing other things or people are asking me questions or there's noises. So anyway, so there you have it. And I guess using so many colors will have a positive influence to you. Yeah. And it just makes me happy. Look at all those colors. Wow. I'm going to need some of these uh, other gouache and these different colors. I, w I bought the Lucas ones and I like those. But this one here is the Acrylla ones, and these are my new ones, and I really like them. I like them as well, so whichever is on sale, I think, is what I would be getting. Are you home or in your studio? I am at my home studio. <laughs> I have two studios. Thank you, Alyssa. Yes, it's making me happy just watching it. Oh, good. So I have, yeah, I have two studios. One is where I work with my leather. And also I do some of this there um, when I get a chance. But really, it's more work work that I do at the, the bigger studio. Here at home, I've always had a studio because I was a photographer and I needed a place to where I could um, do my work uninterrupted while my children, my girls were in school because I homeschooled. And uh, I'm trying to look for, oh, here we go. Cause I'm gonna add to this. This is a happy scope. Oh, yay. I'm glad that you like it. So here I'm gonna go ahead and add some leaves. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do it first with, with watercolor, yeah. You know, they say that with watercolor, you shouldn't, here's a rule, that you should really mix it because it just looks better, they say, not because it's, it would be less true because they say that leaves aren't that green, right? Okay, well, whatever, sure. I think I could find a leaf that green. But anyway, so I just did that right now. I just took some of that green and some of that, I don't know what that is, probably oak, ochre. And I just mixed it. And then I'm just going to make some leaves around this. And who's to say leaves have to be green, right? Okay, see there? I made a mistake. I went too far when I pulled it. So, in guys, I had to decline a phone a phone call. Okay, so sorry, I was out of screen. Thank you for letting me know. So I made a mistake. I did this at first, and then I put this middle thing, and I messed up. Oh yeah, that would be pretty. I think any color, right? And so I went ahead and just added this and I don't like it. So we're just gonna cover the whole thing. 
and it's just going to be a gigantor leaf. There you go. So yeah, let's add something. Could wash it out. Yeah, we could. That's how you can kind of pick out, pick paint off. It's too dark, like that one was too dark. Just wet your brush and then lift it. But see, okay, here's an example of this. Kind of messed it up, right? And so, <clears throat> what do I do? Kind of mess that up. Take your ink. Where's that one I was using? I'm going to dry it a little bit because I don't want to ruin my pen. So then you could, this is how I make do with my mistakes. There you go. Now you see. Now can you tell that I made a mistake? Not really, right? And I want to make that a little bit bolder. So we're going to go around it. And I liked what Babette said. I'm sorry, did I disconnect a lot of you guys because of that phone call? Sorry about that. I don't know how to prevent that next time. I am expecting that call, but um, oh well, bad timing. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take some other color and put it on top. And this right here is a Prisma color because Babette mentioned purple, just to show you that you can use different colors. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be necessarily true. This is violet Prismacolor. Gosh, I don't know what it is. Is it a watercolor based? Either way, it's one of those samples from that art snack. I'm going to add it. You know what? That's going to be too dark, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit too dark. So it's hard to see that it's purple in there. There's no mistakes, exactly. I have this um, quote that actually my husband um, came up with and I just refined it. There are no mistakes, just more opportunities to embellish. Had that quote when I was in um, scrapbooking, when I was a published scrapbooker. So, <laughs> there you go. And I'm going to put some pink in it just because I want to. Some of that pink opera, Babette's favorite pink. Again, see, it's just layering. So I'm just putting it around the areas of the leaves. There you go. So then you can put, I can put more leaves around it or I can leave it as is, or I can do some lines perhaps, um, right down here to kind of make it look, I don't know, graffiti ish like It'd be kind of fun, but I'm probably just going to leave it like this and then maybe just put more leaves around here. See, again, I kind of messed up that leaf. <laughs> I 
I will fix that later. So you guys get the point, right? So do you have any questions? Are we good? Any questions at all that I can maybe answer? I'm not sure what happened to my page. It is scary. <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes. I'm sure it's not, but it's kind of hard sometimes to go along as someone is doing it because you're trying to do two things at one time. Whereas if you're just sitting down and doing it on your own, you know, there's no other distractions. So you may want to redo it, whatever, but I'm sure what you have is just fine. You're just critical of yourself as most of us are. I will take the excuse. Um, when I say most of us, that's, I used to be very critical and I really have gotten out of that. Because being critical sometimes takes away from just doing. Plus sometimes when you walk away and come back, you feel better about it. True. I mean, I definitely evaluate my work, but I try not to be critical of my work. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and probably do it the same way I did with that one. So if you guys don't have any questions, I'll go ahead and sign off. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I hope that I didn't take too much of your time. Um, it was just fun to have a day and just play. And I guess we've been having that since yesterday afternoon when we started. You messed up your leaves, I don't see it. Right, because I covered it with the um, pen. And that's what I mean when I put color down first, then I put the pen on top because a lot of times I made a mistake. And to cover that up, I or make it look intentional, I use a, a pen. So anyway, you guys have a good rest of the day. Don't know what you were going for. Exactly, I didn't either. So <laughs> I was just playing, but I was just trying to show that you can play and just layer upon layer and just enjoy the process. That's what's important. And you just keep on going and then, you know, study some of the things that people have done. Look at like this, for instance, you could look at it and see the different elements that I put in and then incorporate that and make little changes and make it your own. And voila, you'll have a piece that um, you can enjoy. You can gift to somebody or something. So anyway, bye-bye for now, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of the weekend, and we will see you on Scope or Instagram next week. Bye-bye.